Hello everyone, I've got something extra special for you today. Something a little bit different from what we normally do. I have shown you in some of my other videos on how to use the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus Financial Calculator. And today, um, I'm going to unbox this brand new Hewlett Packard 12C Financial Calculator. If you're unfamiliar with this calculator, you may want to take a look into it. Uh, this has been an industry standard for decades. I literally had a version of this when I went to college, and it is still widely used by professionals in real estate, banking, finance, and accounting. Uh, of course, they've upgraded it somewhat, but overall, the layout and many of its functions remain the same as it was many years ago. Uh, but this, I'm very excited about this. Uh, we'll unbox this today. And then if you'd like to see me do uh, some videos on how to use this calculator and how to use it to calculate various things such as uh, present value and amortization and, and other things like that, let me know down in the comments. And uh, let me know particularly what you are looking for and uh, we can do a video on that but before we get to the unboxing I first want to say that I believe something wonderful is going to happen for you today and now on to the video all right as I said this is a great calculator the HP 12C and uh, this is uh, just the gold version and it comes looks like with a manual and everything but let's go ahead and open it up and take a quick look at it so it says here easy open cut along the line and pull the tab so let's see how this works pull the tab ah here's the tab well, I guess that's the tab. And that got the rest of it open. It appears that it comes with a case. We'll put that aside and take a look at that in a moment. And it appears that there's some documentation here. We'll take a look at that also in a moment. I want to get down to the good stuff. Um, and if we dig in further, there is the calculator. It's pretty light. I think it's lighter than uh, it used to be, uh, but it's still very tough. I know they design it to be able to drop from a desk and uh, hit a hard floor and not break. I'm not going to test that today, but just uh, so you know, that's how it works. It does have in the back batteries, um, and that comes included with them. And the battery life on these calculators is phenomenal. It used to be uh, decades, literally. It used to be like a decade long that the batteries would last. Uh, I think the newer versions don't last quite as long because they've changed some of the processors. But the batteries should still last uh, years, uh, from my understanding. But you know, we can report back on that in the future. But it's a nice solid calculator. It fits well in my hand. And you can see that uh, it's got an LCD display, uh, which is clear, very easy to see. And uh, if you look on here, something very interesting. Do you notice what is missing? What is it that most calculators have that this one doesn't? Put it down in the comments if you notice it or if you already know what it is that's missing from it. You're right. It's missing an equal sign. This calculator does not come with an equal sign. Is that a flaw? Well, depends on your point of view. This is actually uses a logic called reverse Polish notation, RPN, and you enter the numbers into it differently and therefore you don't need to put in um, the equal sign and ultimately with a lot of things it will reduce the number of steps to get to an answer so if you just uh, for a simple matter if I did three if I wanted to add three 
and 5, I would hit 3, enter, 5, and then I hit plus. And that gives me the 8. So you can see I didn't have to hit the inner sign. I didn't have to hit an equal sign. Uh, you do use the inner sign uh, button, but there are some things that will uh, take less steps than that. So we'll get into how to use this if you are so interested. If you're finding this interesting so far, please smash the like button up there. We also have some documentation here. We'll I'll have to go through that. But you know, who needs a manual? We just uh, we just like to mess around with it without it. And also, it's a, a nice um, case here. This is not leather, but it is soft on the inside and looks like it'll protect it well. Let's see about put a sliding it in here, and uh, yeah, that keep it well protected throughout the years. So. I'm very pleased with it and I can't wait to start using it and uh, if you want I might make some videos on how to use this in your class you might want to pick one up for yourself but until next time um, keep your grade alive and subscribe thank you